turn to our chief meteorologist Derek Beasley in the First Alert Weather Center. And Derek, what exactly is the path of Hurricane Barrel now? Well, uh, Nikki, it looks like this thing's going to be heading right towards Jamaica, potentially as a major hurricane, at least a Cat 3, and then eventually making its way towards the Yucatan Peninsula, so Cancun, Cozumel, down towards Belize City, and perhaps into the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to take a look at the track in just a second. But let's talk about this beautiful weather that we've been seeing lately. Low humidity, lots of sunshine, dry weather. That will continue through tonight and for tomorrow, though it's going to be a little more humid tomorrow afternoon, but it's going to get really humid once again for your 4th of July plans. If you have any plans, maybe to be outside out at the pool or perhaps you're going to have a barbecue outside. Looks like you're going to need to uh, uh, find some ways, at least extra ways to keep yourself cool and also use lots of sunscreen as we're going to be dealing with those very warm temperatures that we had to deal with over the weekend. Probably not that bad, but it, the heat index is going to get over 100 degrees here once again for this weekend. Temperatures are in the low to mid 80s right now, and that's where we're going to be here for this evening. So if you have any plans to head out in the next few hours, weather looks like it's going to be just fine. It won't get quite as cool tonight as a result of the increasing moisture across the region. This high pressure area is beginning to slide away, and as a result of that, we're going to see more of a subtly wind, and that's what's going to help crank up the humidity here for tonight and for tomorrow. Tomorrow is still going to be tolerable, but you're going to really notice it on Thursday. That's when it's going to really start feeling sticky across the area. And along with that, with a front moving into the region, with higher values of moisture in the region, we're going to have scattered storms to talk about. Now, it looks like for the morning hours on the 4th of July, we'll have a few clouds around, but it should be dry. And then we'll see a few scattered storms during the afternoon and evening hours, most of them occurring likely before sunset. And then when things start to cool off, once the sun goes down, the chances will go down, go down. Although I do think we'll probably still have a lingering shower or two as we head into the evening hours just in time for the fireworks. So uh, right now we do not expect widespread storms in the area as we head towards looks like the uh, right around the time the fireworks would begin, which would be just after sunset. Most of that should get out of the way before sunset, so we should be good there. All right, here's a look at barrel, which... Winds of 165 earlier, now starting to weaken a little bit, but it's not going to weaken enough for it to be eventually be a problem. This thing is going to be heading westward towards Jamaica, and right now the latest forecast track brings this thing through the Yucatan Peninsula, as I mentioned, and then the latest change in the track is it's trying to bring it a little bit farther towards the north, so we may be looking at potentially parts of Texas being affected by this thing eventually. So we'll be watching that very carefully here all the way through the weekend and into early next week. So Kent County tonight, temperatures down around 60. Chestertown 62, Tulchester Beach down to 65. Kennedyville tomorrow getting up to 86 degrees. Chestertown, Chestertown 86 and then Rock Hall getting up to 86 degrees there. So another nice afternoon with just slightly higher humidity. Here's your first alert, 7-day forecast. We're going to go with highs in the upper 80s to near 90. Then it feels really sticky coming up Thursday and Friday with highs in the mid 90s. For the fourth, again, it looks like most of the storms will be out of the way before fireworks in the evening hours. For your afternoon plans, that we'll have some storms around and then more storm chances into the weekend and lasting through next week. A lot of things lighting up on that seven day e forecast. Exactly. <laughs> A lot of action. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.